Hey, what's up guys? It's Darkroom Duelist, and today I'm going to be taking Cyber Darks. Now, I'm really, really excited for this deck. I have always loved this deck. Even when, like, we only had Horn, Keel, and Edge and Cyber Dark Dragon, this deck is actually probably one of my nostalgic decks. <laughs> I have always wanted them to make support for. And with the Legendary Duelists, they have done exactly what we needed for this deck with giving us some level three dragons that are actually cyber dark monsters and giving us a really really powerful cyber darkness dragon the field spell is pretty not too shabby either but let's get into the deck i am super excited for this deck oh my god besides this deck i will tell you guys that we you are in for a treat um I am going to be doing a Legendary Fisherman deck later on after I get some Mastar Boys. Um, and let's get into this one, though. But uh, that one will be coming up soon. So first off, we're going to play three copies of Horn. Uh, Horn is really, really powerful. Its effect is that if it's normal, all the Cyber Darks, except for the all the Cyber Dark Machine Monsters, have this effect. If you normal summon them, you can target one level three or lower dragon type monster in your graveyard and equip it to that monster which is the horn keeler edge um and then they get a secondary effect this one inflicts piercing damage when it attacks which is really really nice and then we play three copies of edge edge has the same effect except you can half his attack to allow him to attack your opponent directly which is really nice um Keel, he's kind of the weakest of the three. Um, Keel's effect is that if he destroys a monster by battle, you inflict 300 points of damage. So he's kind of wah, wah, kind of the sucky one of the three. In my opinion, out of them all, um, probably Edge is the best. Um, because he lets you attack directly for 1,200. Because the attack of all the other Cyber Dark monsters, the dragons like these, the cannon and the claw... Uh, they're 1,600, so it makes all of these go to 2,400, which is really, really, really nice. Um, so let's get into the new support. So the new support is you get three copies of Cyberdark Cannon. Now, Cannon is super powerful. It is probably the best new support card besides Cyber Darkness Dragon. I don't know. They're all about, about the same. But um, Cannon has three effects, technically. So his effect is, is that if this card is sent to the graveyard while equipped to a monster, you can draw a card. You can only use that effect once per turn. However, the other two effects you can use as many times as you want. You can discard him from your hand to add a Cyber Dark Machine Monster, which is any of these over here. And during damage calculation, if he... If a monster equipped with this card battles, you can send one monster from your deck to the graveyard. So he's a walking, or he's an equipped card, Foolish Burial, which is nuts. Nuts, nuts, nuts. So then we play three copies of Cyberdark Claw. Claw is the monster that sends cards from your extra deck that allows us to make our Cyber Darkness Dragon 7,000 attack, which I will get into in a few minutes. Um, Claw's effect is is that if he is a if he's sent to the graveyard while equipped with a to a monster, you can target a cyber dark monster in your graveyard and add it to your hand. Now that's great late game, but we really want to get those cannons first so we can get consistency into drawing our cards. So then we his other effects are is you can discard him from your hand to add a cyber dark spell or trap from your deck to your hand, which is really good because that's going to be our impacts and our field spells. And during damage calculation, if a monster equipped with this card battles, you can send a monster from your extra deck to the graveyard, which is going to be our copies of Five-Headed Dragon, which we only play one because you only need one. And then we have a couple of other cards that get bonus effects from going to the graveyard, which we'll get into those when we get into the extra deck. So then for our techs, we're going to play one copy of Dark Arm Dragon, the bad man himself, and he's kind of my signature thing. And you can grab a lot of cards out of the graveyard with this deck by normal summoning them and then sending them to the grave. And they really, really are easy. With Cyber Dark Impact, you dump three cards out of the grave instantly. And you can get the exact number of dark monsters in the graveyard you need relatively early in the game late 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 in the game if you go that late in the game it's not going to happen but early in the game it's very easy to get dark arm dragon out in this game in this deck very very easy turn between like turn one and turn seven if you go to turn seven it's pretty easy to get this guy out so then i'm playing a shadow engine because this deck works with shadows with 
Claw's effect, it kind of helps and lets me, or not Claw, uh, Cannon's effect. If he's equipped and sends a monster to the deck, to the grave, they get their effects off, which is nice. Um, you all know what Beast do, does. If he's sent to the graveyard, you get to draw one card. And if he's flipped, you draw two cards and then discard a card. Dragon, he's a um, Compulse when he's flipped, and he is a MST when he's sent to the grave. Uh, two Squamata. Squamata, um, his effect is that he destroys a monster if he's flipped face up, and if he is uh, sent to the graveyard, he's a foolish burial for another shit all, which is usually going to be our beast. Um, one hedgehog, hedgehog, if he's flipped, you had a spell or trap that's a shit all, which is our fusions, and then if he is um, sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you add a shit all monster. And then finally, one Falco. If he's flipped, you get to add, or you get special summon a shed all in face down defense. And if he is sent to the graveyard, you special summon him in face down defense. And then you can flip him to special summon another one. But you can only activate either or of their effects once per turn. So that's it for our monsters. Let's get into the spells. And if you guys want to take a quick look at this, this is going to be your list. Um, then we're going to get into the spells really quick. So. We're going to play one copy of Cyberdark Impact, which these are, were going for about $13 on eBay. Uh, thank God I snatched one. Uh, you can turn a Keelhorn and Edge from your hand deck or graveyard, or from your hand, graveyard, or field to your deck to special summon a Cyberdark Dragon, which is really, really nice, and it's searchable. Uh, one foolish, one um, to send our cards that we need to the graveyard so we can kind of go off. One Future Fusion. Uh, future Fusion, his effect, it, it's errata. You guys will probably have to look that one up. I think it's, if it's activated, you don't do anything the first standby phase. And then the second standby phase, you send all the cards you want. And the second standby phase, technically second standby phase, you get to special summon the monster. So then we would special summon our Cyber Darkness Dragon, sending five cards from the deck to the grave. One El Shadow Fusion. El Shadow Fusion's effect is that you can fusion summon a Shadow Fusion monster. I know this went to two, but one copy is plenty in this deck with the two Shadow Fusions. I bumped each one of them down by one because we don't need them that much, but they help out when they're needed. So that's why I'm playing them. And they are searchable, which I will explain in a few minutes. Um, two Future Fusions. Uh, future Fusion, or not Future Fusion, Overload Fusion. Overload Fusion is Miracle Fusion from the Graveyard for Machine Monsters. So our Cyber Darkness Dragon is extremely easy to get out with just requiring five Cyber Dark Monsters. So you usually you're going to get it out with either your Future Fusion, if your opponent allows it to live that long, or our Overload Fusion, which are searchable again. Two copies of Cyber Dark Inferno. Um, I'm only playing two because it's only needed it to. Now this one I'm going to have to read for you guys because you really need to know this effect. Um, Cyber Dark effect monsters you control are, that are equipped with equipped monsters cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects, which is crazy. Also, your opponent cannot target them with card effects. So it basically makes them invulnerable to a lot of stuff. Then... You can target one Cyber Dark monster you control, return it to your hand, then immediately after this effect resolves, normal summon an additional one. So the combo is is that if you have like a cannon in your grave, okay, you can normal summon like your horn, add it back to your hand, this touches the grave, you draw a card, and then you normal summon this again, re-equipping your cannon, which is really, really nice. Uh, let me put cannon back up. So that that's kind of a really easy combo. The other effect is, is that once per turn, if this card is in its owner's possession is destroyed by an opponent's card effect, you can add one polymerization or fusion spell card from your deck to your hand, which is either Future Fusion, uh, El Shadow Fusion, uh, Shadow Fusion, or Overload Fusion. So that's why we only play like five, six fusion cards, which is really why. Then we play two Twin Twisters because we hate back row, and I don't mind discarding in this deck at all. Um... Three allures. Allure just helps because everything is dark. Um, and I play three of everything, and the Shed All engine does not matter if I get rid of one or two of them. And then three pot of dualities because I don't special summon a lot in this deck, but I can special summon, but I can kind of hold off if I need to to get that consistency. The other thing I forgot to mention is, is when these are equipped, if they are attacked or going to be destroyed, if this card will be destroyed by battle or by card effect or if this card is going to be destroyed by a battle um destroy the monster equipped to it instead so you get that effect off if they're going to be destroyed by a battle but they're 2400 attack so it's going to be a little tough um and then your fusion or your field spell protects them too 
So that's it for the main deck. Let's get into the extra deck. So we're gonna play two Cyber Darkness Dragon. It is relatively easy to go into this deck. Um, if it is special summoned, you can equip a dragon or a machine monster from your graveyard to it, and it gains attack equal to the original attack of the equipped monster. Um, while your opponent, while it's activated, if your opponent activates a card effect, you can send one equip card from this card to the graveyard to negate the activation if you destroy it. Whoa, that is awesome. Um, then we play two Cyber Dark Dragons, because again, it's pretty easy to go into. It's the easier of the two. Um, if you special summon it, you can target a dragon, only a dragon, in your graveyard and equip it to it. And then this card gains 100 attack for each monster in your graveyard, which is super nice. Uh, one Five-Headed, which is to equip to either one of these. One Reflasia, which is a Predator Plant Reflasia. If it's sent to the graveyard, this is kind of the card that I said. It, the next couple of cards are going to be, if they're sent to the graveyard, they get effects. Um... If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add a Polymerization or a Fusion Spell card from your deck to your hand. Uh, once per turn during your, the next standby phase, you can add a you know, Polymerization. So it makes it searchable during the next standby phase. That's why we play one. Um, let me bump these up real quick. Um, then we're going to play two Elder Entity Nist. Um, Nist, if it's sent to the graveyard, you can target one card on the field and destroy it which is really, really good. Um, that's why we play the two, is because like we can send them to grave really easily from the extra deck, and then pop a card. Two windows, because we play fusions, because um, we were playing a Shed All engine. I wish Construct was it back at one. Uh, one heavy armor freight train iron, or heavy armored train Iron Wolf. Iron Wolf is really good because he can let you target your Cyber Darkness Dragon if you can get a Link Monster out, and then he had a can attack directly for 7,000, which is nuts. One Gearganta X because we're playing a machine deck. One Cyframe Lord Omega because it's Omega. And if it's in the graveyard once per turn during, e during where is it? Uh, if this card is sent to your graveyard, you can target one other card in the graveyard and shuffle both th that and this card into the deck. That's why you play this. You don't play a tuner, so you can't make it. But if it's sent to the graveyard, you can target it and another card and shuffle them both in the deck. Any card in your graveyard, which is nice. And then for our Link Monsters, we play the Deco Talker and the Proxy Dragon which is really, really, really nice. I really love this deck. It's a lot of fun. If you guys want to play a budget, on a budget, this is the deck to play. It's semi-competitive. It's really fun and really easy to build. You can get just about anything that you want for this deck. I built this deck for about 40 bucks, I think. Um, it's pretty cheap. But it, besides the Cyberdark Impact, which you could leave out if you don't want it, maybe 60 if you want to go high end like I did. But anyways, guys, this is Dark Arm Duels. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to join Dark Armed Alliance down in the description below. And I'll see you guys around.